Today, we're going to create a 3D hero section using Studio and Spline. Spline is a web-based tool for 3D design. Open your design in Spline or choose one from the community. In your Spline file, click the Export button. Go to the Play Settings tab and set the background color to Hide. Now, in the Overview tab, click Copy Embed. Go back to Studio, the website builder for designers. Open the left panel, navigate to the Add tab. Under Embed, drag in a blank iframe. In the Layers tab, rename it to Spline. And position it as the first object in the parent box. Set the fill to Transparent. Open the right panel and paste the embed code from Spline. Under Position, set it to Absolute. Resize the iframe to fit your 3D object. Absolute Position removes it from Auto Layout. This gives us more placement flexibility. But remember, you'll need to adjust for responsiveness later. Once you're happy with the placement, go to Z index and set it to minus one. Objects with smaller Z index values are placed behind others. Now, let's customize the 3D object with other elements in the section. For the CTA, give it a blue fill. For the heading, we want it to appear behind the 3D object. Use blend mode and select exclusion. Pretty neat, right? For the nav bar, we want to blur anything that goes behind it as you scroll. Use the backdrop filter and adjust the blur with the slider. For the section background, add a gradient. Under Fill, select Gradient and use the arrow to adjust the angle. Customize the color stops. Now, for an advanced technique, let's make the 3D object look illuminated from behind. Create a light source by dragging in a box. Give it a fill and round its corners. In Filter, adjust the Blur slider. Set the position to Absolute. This will be our light source. Position it relative to the 3D object. Customize it as needed. We'll duplicate it to create another light source. To finish up the Hero section, let's add a hover effect to the button. In the Conditional Styles menu, go to the Hover view and design how it looks when hovered over. You can also style objects nested inside the button. In Hover will appear in the menu to show you are designing the hover state. You can preview the hover effect by entering and exiting the hover view. Keep customizing as you like. And that's how you build a 3D hero section in Studio.